This is the VTiger CRM uh, training manual uh, showing you how to add a service. <clears throat> the reason you need services, which is under the inventory um, tab here, services, that's how I got to here, is in order to create an invoice and bill a customer, you'll have to add a service onto the invoice. Without a service, you can't complete the invoice. Uh, I'm going to quickly go into the service that I created. Maybe. Okay. So here you can see there's a service information tab. This is labeled service one, which is automatically assigned by the system. Front breaks, service information. This is the name of the service that I inputted for this particular service service name. Uh, it's managed in un unit of hours, which you can edit to be days or incidents. Number of units, I just did one hour for this. If uh, front breaks actually took you two hours, you could change it to that. Category, uh, these need to be uh, modified, but right now everything can go under installation. That'll work fine. Um, sales start date and end date, uh, you were asking about that. This is where you can input the date that the service was actually completed. Uh, maybe it takes a couple days. Uh, you'll know that uh, by put inputting that information. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't have it active. Maybe uh, it's a service you no longer do, I guess. Um, owner, you can just assign that to Tra uh, Travis. Um, you can put in a price, uh, which you can actually modify later. So if the price has changed, not a big deal. And here's just a just quick description of the service. Uh, obviously, I can add to this like I'm doing to the contact page, um, either by putting it on the service t information tab or this more information tab, which I'm loading right now, so I can show you that as well. And here you can see that I sorted this list kind of under the more information by invoice. So I can see all the invoices that have this particular service. Um, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. If you want to quick create a service, you can do so by using this menu right there. And I'm just going to quick create make it active I guess uh, 1399 or 12.99 is the promotion Travis is thinking of running and we would add the oil disposal fee separate everything needs to be granular so uh, you know if you're going to do a break job service and within that service you actually do the pads and the rotors you would want to create a service for replacing brake, pad, brake pads and our service for re replacing brake rotors. You want to be really granular with your services. That's going to apply to our products, which I'm going to go over in a different lesson too. So there I quick created the oil chain service um, and I can edit it right here. So that's a quicker way to get to it. That concludes the tutorial.